Hey guys, what's going on? This is Apple Fox channel here. And do you know this logo? Of course you do. It's the face ID from the iPhone 10. But I decided to make this video in order to point out that there is a huge problem with this. A huge issue that just needs to be resolved before we start using this new feature. I feel like I'm the only one who noticed something like this. And this is the reason, as I mentioned, why I'm making this video in the first place. I just want to let you know about a thing that I worry about or I have concerns about when it comes to the face ID. The issue is very significant for the regular users and I just feel like I just need to let you know about this because many people will start buying the iPhone 10 soon when it gets dropped. People may not realize that the problem is here. I mean, of course, it can be solved very easily by Apple, but it has not been resolved yet. Now, what is the big problem? Well, the Touch ID is gone in the iPhone 10. And you probably, of course, know about it. And the Face ID is here in order to replace the Touch ID. And that is completely okay. You, you're going to be using the Face ID in order to unlock your iPhone, in order to get inside, and also use it with the Apple Pay and when buying applications and music and stuff like that. And it is, of course, great. But how does it work now when we have the Touch ID? Now, when you open up the App Store and search for pretty much any kind of app, and you will try to download it, you will of course be required to type in your password. But you can also use the Touch ID instead. It is a lot easier and it is actually a lot better than having to type in the password every time you want to download an application from the App Store. So when downloading Shazam, for example, you will see a screen similar to this one. So it says that App Store, which application you are downloading, the rating, the account you are using at this point of time, and also that you need to place your finger on the home button. And what this does is proves that it is you and it also proves that you want to do it, that you really want to download this app. This time it is a free application, but you may also want to buy a paid application. So you really need to verify that it is you and you really want to buy it. With the Face ID, however, you are not using your finger, but you're using your face instead. So when you want to buy an application, for example, you click on buy and you need to again verify that it is you and you want to buy this application. And you're going to be using your face in order to do this. But you keep looking at the phone all the time and maybe you just accidentally clicked on the buy button and you are buying it already. It's like you would always have your finger on the home button in order to verify when you want to buy something. So you always have your finger like this and you click on purchase and immediately your finger is being scanned. This similar thing is going on with your face because you always keep looking at your phone. So let's imagine you are playing a game, for example, and there are lots of in-app purchases available. And someone comes to you and simply taps on the screen. And because you are looking at the phone, you are already buying this item. Imagine you would click on this icon in the upper right corner in order to remove ads, but only accidentally. And because you are always looking at your phone, so it's going to scan you within a second and you have nothing to do. You are already buying this item. And that is happening because you are already connected with your bank account. One simple solution would be to disconnect from your bank account. But this is not something most of us want to do because we're not going to be able to pay for the things we really want to buy. For example, some music from the iTunes and stuff like that. We just cannot simply disconnect from the bank account. But also, I don't want to risk buying things I don't want just because I'm looking at the phone. It is ridiculous, guys. I just cannot believe nobody has ever thought of this. Another idea would be to add like another confirm button. So it's not like you click on purchase and you are buying it instantly. I mean, this is the way I can imagine it working because other way it would be really annoying. Of course, the iPhone 10 hasn't been released yet, so we don't know for sure how it will work. We're gonna have to wait and see. But because Face ID is the replacement of the Touch ID, we suppose that it will work similar way. And if it will work similarly, it's gonna be very risky or dangerous because as I mentioned, you will be buying things that you probably don't want to. So this is the whole point of this. As I already mentioned, the solution would be very simple, but Apple needs to know that it is really an issue and it just needs to be solved somehow. It is different, however, with the Apple Pay. Because, for example, when you are in a grocery store and you are about to buy something, you're not constantly looking at your phone. And if you want to verify or prove that you really want to purchase this, you just simply take a look at this. You're not using the phone at that point of time, so it shouldn't really be a problem. My biggest concern is, as I mentioned, when buying applications or stuff from the internet. Keep in mind that I'm not hating on this new technology. It is really exciting and I just cannot wait to test it out. I just don't want to worry about buying the things I don't want all the time just because I have the Face ID enabled. I'm pretty sure there will also be an option in the settings to disable Face ID for buying things. But 
that would mean that I would have to type the password all the time, which is not really convenient to do all the time, but I think I would have to do it this way, if a face ID would work the way I mentioned in the video. So guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it, and also please let me know what you think about this issue, or if you also worry about this problem. So share your opinion down below in the comment section of this video. If you want to see more videos like this, you should definitely subscribe to this channel right now because I'll be making a lot of Apple related videos and if you don't want to miss those, I really recommend you to subscribe to the channel. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, have a nice day and see you in the next one.